Hello and welcome to this session on SOAP UI beginner tutorial and today we are going to learn something very easy, very interesting and very useful in SOAP UI and that is properties. So today we are going to see what is property in SOAP UI, how do we use it, how to create properties at different levels and how do we refer properties in our test cases or test scripts. So let's get started and let me open my SOAP UI. So here is the SOAP UI up and here is the project that we have created in our earlier sessions. So we have this country info service which is a SOAP project and then we have this REST project that we created in our earlier session. So let us go to our SOAP project and here we will learn about properties. So to understand properties in a very easy way properties can be used as variables to store values that can be referred in testing. So in case you want to store any values at any level, for example you want to store some values at a project level or a test suite level and then you want to refer these values in your testing, these can be done through properties. So let us see how to do that. So now I am at the project level so you can see I have clicked on the project here and here if I go down I will see a tab for properties here. So I can click here and I will see this window and here I can click on this plus icon to add a property to the property list. So let's say I click this and here I can say uh, the property name is let's say name and let me give the value as this is project property or I will say this says I am a project property. So I have defined a property name and the value is I am project property. Similarly I can go to the test suite level so I am clicking on test suite 2 here and if I double click here I can get this window for test suite 2 and you can see we again have this tab for properties. I will click here and click on the plus icon and Again I will give the property name as name and the value as I am test suite property and also you can see the properties tab here as well. So you can see for whatever element I am selecting for example I am on the test suite so it will show the test suite properties and the custom property. So we are now creating the custom property so you can see this here as well and if I go to the project level again you can see the custom property here that we just created. So I have created a property at the project level at the test suite level and now I can go to the test case level as well. So I will double click on the test case and I have the test case editor open and again I have the properties tab here. I will click here and say this is again name and value is I am test case property. So now we have created three properties at a project level, suite level and test case level. We can actually create properties at test step level as well. So what I'm going to do is I will do a right click on my test case and I will say add steps and we have a step to add properties here. So I will click on here and you can give any name. I will just keep it as it is and say OK. And now you have this window for a test step property and the same thing you can click on the plus icon and create a new property here. So again I will say this is the property name and it has value I am test step property ok. So what we have done as of now is we have set a property at project level, test suite level, test case level and test step level. So let me just write it down properties can be accessed at following levels. Now we have created all these properties at these levels. Now let me go back and I have to access these properties in my test. So now to access the properties what we can do is the syntax is dollar and then curly braces start then hash in case we are at project we will say project and then again hash and the property name and then the curly braces close. So this is the syntax 
in case you want to access the property at anywhere in your test cases and similarly if it is test suite here we will have test suite so let us try this out so for now what i'm going to do is i am going to go to the capital city api and of course this is the soap ui project the soap project that we have created in our earlier session so you can watch that here we have this pistol which gives us country information and here we have a api to get the capital for a country so here i can give any country code for example in and i click on run so it gives me the capital new delhi so in is the country code for india similarly if it's taiwan i will say tw and run it and it gives me the capital type so now here what i'm going to do is i'm going to refer this from a project property so what i'm going to do is i will say i will copy this syntax here and just paste it here so what it is going to do is it will go to the project level and it will get the name from there so let me make it as country name and at the project level i will create this property country name and give it the value as in so now let me just run this and check and you can see it is giving the result as new delhi because it took it from the project property country name which was in similarly i can go to the test suite level and here again i can create a property called country name and let me say us here and now if in my request i say this is from test suite and run it you can see the capital is washington because it is now referring the test suite and similarly i can say test case here and test step as well okay so let me quickly show you if i go to the test case and create a property country name and name it as tw and here i say this is test case and run it i'm getting the capital for taiwan and now if i go to the properties test step let me make it take it up so that you can see it properly yeah so this is the properties test step and if i say here country name as fr which is for france and now here what i have to do is instead of hash i will directly give the name of the test step so the name is properties now don't get confused by this name properties this is actually the name i can actually rename this for example i can say this is as country codes and say okay so now here i will have to give country codes so it has already taken it here so now if i run it you can see it is giving the capital for france which was there in our step property test step property now let us also learn something very interesting in your testing with soap ui you will have to uh, use groovy scripting for getting and setting properties so let us learn how do we do that i am going to do a right click on the test case or the test steps and will add a groovy script here uh, i'll just name it as it is and this is the groovy script let me take it up yeah so now here you can actually access the properties by writing the script so in soap ui we have groovy scripting where you can do your scripting and it is very easy we will have a separate session for learning this but for now just uh, let us see some very basics in groovy scripting you can say log dot info and let me just say hello world uh, let me change the font size i will go to preferences editor settings select font and let me make it a bigger font so that you can see it properly and yes and if i run this you can see here it has printed hello world now to get the properties i can say context dot expand and i will give brackets and inside brackets uh, i can give single quotes and here 
I have to use the same syntax to get the properties which is dollar and then curly braces start curly braces close inside curly braces I will say hash if I have to get from project level I will say project and hash the property name so I will say this and I can store it in any variable let us say name I can store it here as well I can also say def which is for just defining a variable name and even if I do not give def that should be fine I am just giving it for now and then I will say log.info and I can just say here property name is and I will say plus and this is the name I want to print so I'll copy it from here and save it so let me run this now and you can see let me clear and run it again I think it got ran two times and you can see it is saying I am project property which is coming from here if you go to the project we have added a property called name and the value was I am a project property so this is how you can get it if you want to get it from test suite level you can say test suite and run it and you can say this is saying I am test suite property if I want to get a property from test case I will say test case here run it I am a test case property and if you want to get it from the test step you will give the name of the test step so here our test step name is country codes which is this one and run it and you can see I am a test property so how easy that is right and in SOAP UI you can also fetch system or environment properties so if you go to your help and go to system properties you can see all this system properties here so to access a system property you will say uh, here hash system and let me take a user pr a property called user dot home and let me first clear this and run this and you can see this is showing me the property or the value for user home which is a system property I can also get any environment property and for that I have to use the name env and the name of the property so let us say I want to check what is my maven home set in the environment properties I will run this and here it is it is giving us the value so how easy that is right so let us go back to the notes and all these notes will be available in the description so do not worry I will have all these notes available and let me just complete the notes so you can have this at test suite test case and test step and also you can get at system and environment level and the syntax will be for test suite it will be test suite for test case it will be hash test case hash property name for test step it will be test step name and the property name in case you want to access system property you will say hash system hash property name and if you want to access the environment properties you will say hash env hash property name so this is how we work with properties in soap ui in the coming session we will go even more deeper and learn about this topic in a very easy and interesting way i hope this session was very useful for you i will meet you in the next episode of soap ui thank you for watching